What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mr. McHangle Zombie back with some more Dark Souls 3. We are back in Fair and Keep, and we're about to move on to the next area. It looks like we opened the door last time. We got ourselves Fair and Flash Sword, and we are about to roll. Let's go ahead and put our shield on, because Fair and Flash Sword is actually like a sword. So we're going to try to use it and see how good it is. But we opened this door last time, and I don't actually know where we're going. But... We're going to see. We got some of these guys. Some of these guys that turn into like flying demon monster things. I really need to go up first so I can kill that sorcerer guy. Because he, I'm pretty sure, aggros all the other ones. So I kind of need to kill him first. Hey, dude, you need to die. Oh god. No! 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 Okay. The thing is, okay, well, does, does Fair and Flash Sword actually like break toys? Okay, what the fuck? Holy shit! Oh my god! That was ridiculous! Okay, maybe I should kill. Maybe I should kill the. <laughs> The sorcerer guy with like something that's actually ranged first. Let's not get over overzealous here. Um, yeah, maybe we should kill. <laughs> maybe we should kill the sorcerer guy with something that's actually ranged. That way, that way he won't alert all his fucking friends about our presence and turn them into abominations that just destroy us in like three hits. Well, it was more than three hits, but they were going wild. So, let's use Great Heavy Solero and see if that will work. Yeah, no, okay. They're like praying to him for whatever reason. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any actually... There are any... Wait, what is that? Let's see, let's see. Is this a secret... Fine work? No. I still haven't found like many secret walls in this game. We found one throughout the entire game so far. Let's go back down here and grab our our souls. All right, and I guess we'll use fair and flash sword and kill this guy. Yeah, I don't know. Like it seems like a really good spell, but it also seems like really weak. When I can just use, like, Great Heavy Sorrow to kill these guys in, like, two hits. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's, like, a, a get out of, like, you know, get out of trouble type of thing. Where if you're, if you're close range, you can, you have to use it. But don't use it unless they, they're, like, actually going after you in close range. Corvi and Great Knife. Try rear. Alright, we're making our way up here. Got a whole bunch of swords everywhere. What in the world is happening? We got some Dark Wraiths fighting some of these creatures. I don't really want to F with the Dark Wraiths right now if I don't have to, so let's go this way. Be wary of overwhelming. Try it, Therefore, try eliminating one at, one at a time. Okay, what is this? I don't want to go this way yet. I want to go back this way. I don't want to get too confident here and miss anything. And miss something. The dark wraiths are going ham over there. I'm not even gonna like. I don't even want to fuck with them, honestly. If I can avoid them, I will. Oh god. No. 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 I wonder why they're actually fighting like the the little guys. Titanite's shard. All right, let's go up here. Anything up here we can make of use? 
Dark Wraith fucking people up again. What else is new? You're gonna die though. I'm gonna kill you, Dark Wraith. Because I kinda need you to die. That way I can get to where I wanna go. Thanks for your dark gauntlets. I really do appreciate it. Um, but, you know, my, my homies that want to kill me as well actually kind of lowered you enough for me to kill you. No Lord of Cinder ahead. Mob enemy ahead. Praise the eye. By the way, time for a stab or something. This is a boss fight. I can already tell. Yep. This is definitely a fucking boss fight. If this isn't a boss fight, something's wrong. I, you know what? I'll try to fight it if, once or twice, and we'll see what happens. Those guys look like hunters from freaking Bloodborne. Oh god, don't look at me like that. Please? Okay. Abyss Watchers. Great. Great, 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 great. Yeah, Fair and Flash Sword seems to do a lot more damage than this guy. It says Abyss Watchers, which makes me think there's going to be more enemies than just this guy. Yep, here he comes. Is this like a four kings boss? Where like you can kill them. You can kill them. Um, or is. Wait, am I just supposed to aim at that one guy? Kind of confused. I'm gonna try to take him on, but we'll see what happens, honestly. Okay, there's a guy behind me now. Great. Fuck off, sir, please. Oh, they'll fight each other. Am I actually gonna win? Did I win that? There's no fucking way. There's no way. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no fucking way in hell that I won that. Excuse me? So now he's empowered. Is he still gonna spawn enemies? This music's fucking badass though. Now we got an empowered guy that we gotta go against. Hopefully he doesn't spawn enemies anymore, because that would really suck. Okay, yeah, you, you sir, have turned into a, quite a douchebag. If I'm being completely honest. Holy shit, that damage. get hit by that. Damn it! Sir! You're too aggressive. Oh my god. I'm getting scared. scared. Yeah, I have the right to get scared now. Heal! Heal!
I don't know if I'm gonna have enough mana. Like, even if I survive, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough mana. Okay, that was, like, what the fuck is that combo? He had, like, a seven hit combo. That's ridiculous. Okay, I have to switch to the broadsword now because I'm like completely out. Did I get him? Boom, baby! First fucking try! Let's go! Let's go! Sorry for screaming in your ears, but let's fucking go! Sorry I had to switch to the broadsword there. I had enough for one one spell so i mean i guess i cheated a little bit but i mean come on first try lord cinders of a lord and the soul of the blood of the wolf read message praise the sun praise it indeed we fucking did it dude first try if i was i was about to say if he starts spawning enemies when he's the buffed one that would have fucking sucked we honestly got lucky on the first try um, when, uh, or the first um, phase, I guess, when he hit his comrade, or and the comrade was like, hey, fuck you, dude, <laughs> and went ham on him. We got lucky with that, but, uh, whew, what does this do? Is this anything, anything special here? Read message. Oh, God. What is this doing? Read message, find work and may, and then may the flames guide thee. Could this be a chance? Could this be something or pointless? All right, I'm not going down there yet. Not going down there yet. Let's, uh, let's head back to Firelink. Holy crap, though. Oh, my God. Huh. After all the tough times I've had with bosses so far in this game, I'm honestly surprised that we beat that boss on the first try. Like, even if we use the broadsword for, like, the last three hits or four hits or whatever, like, that's still surprising to me that we were able to kill them. And now we should have... Who's this guy? Is this the guy that, uh... This is, this is the priestess's... Person or whatever. What, what's up? Ah. Uh, I know you been some time I just dropped in to see how she's getting on now what are you playing at with this circus this cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates couldn't be better she must fit in perfectly holy here. shit you're an asshole <laughs> this dude's a dick this place is as good and hope for better <laughs> okay you're a douchebag this could um let's go talk to our our king friend over here I, I thought that something would happen like they would fill these spots or something once you kill the lords of cinder we killed one and i think it's the one over there which is the abyss watchers but aha that return and a fine day it is let's talk to you ah most illustrious lord seeker or should i say lord slayer fine kindling for the thrones is it not each soul truly worthy of lordship and all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones even in death oh i have no qualms for as we are to our thrones thou art to thy duty in fact methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path okay ah all right, so he he seems to agree with like what we're doing. The soul of the blood of the wolf, the Farron greatsword, and the wolf knight's greatsword. The Farron greatsword is unique because I think that's the same one that he was actually using during the fight. But we're not going to use it. We're not going to use that yet, anyways. I just wanted to talk to this guy, see if he said said anything new about the whole situation. Um, we will go up to the fair to the abyss watchers throne and see if there's something we can do with it now that we have 
what we need. I think this is the Abyss Watchers, isn't it? Watchers of the Abyss. Offer Cinders of a Lord. Okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's. What? What do we do? We can we do anything here? We have twenty thousand souls. We could buy the tower key. Ah, well. Met. I think that's actually what we're going to do. Let's buy the tower key. Ashen one. Uh, uh, Ashen. Ashen one. Okay, let's go. Let's go outside and go to the tower. Let's see what's happening over there. Praise the secret. Excuse me? Come on now. Open up. Open up. Open up, please. I want to get through here so I can get to the tower with the tower key. Alright, cool. So if we go up this way. I have actually been up the tower before because of my other character. But um I've never fought the Abyss Watchers or anything like that before. So that was the first time that we've act I've ever faced them. Ever. So I'm honestly impressed with my own skill. No, I'm just kidding. I am I am very surprised though. I honestly thought that it would be a lot harder than that. I knew after we killed him the first the first time that it would be a second phase to it because it was too easy, and they kind of he kind of pulled a uh, Ornstein and Smo on us. What is this? Firekeeper soul. A firekeeper soul. Soul of the firekeeper who returned from the abyss. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which has tainted her soul. And yet her soul will one day embed itself in the bo bosom of another firekeeper. Okay, I think that's the only item up here actually. So what we're going to do is go back down and there is a sort of secret. I don't know. Most of you guys probably know about it already because, I mean, Dark Souls has been out for like three weeks now. Or two, two and a half weeks about. So, uh, you guys probably already know about it, but there is a secret here if we do it right. Sorry, friend. What? Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Patches! Some places are better left alone, you know? You're a fucking douchebag, dude. Ooh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. Have no fear. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream. Right. <laughs> what a douche. Oh, by stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. Um, but I guess we have to go to the secret now. Or the somewhat secret, I guess. But if we drop down here, we should be able to grab this. Pillage remains. Pillage remains. Pillage remains. Pillage remains! There we go. Firekeeper robe and the gloves and the skirt. Let's jump back. Let's jump the rest of the way down. Almost killed ourselves right there on accident. And this should be the Estus Ring. Estus Ring is actually pretty good. I don't know what this means. I'll have to look up what Lingering Dragon Crest Ring actually does after this video. We'll see. I'll see what it does and we'll decide if we want to keep it on or if we want to get rid of it later. But for now, let's go ahead and. Oh, my dual shock! No! Hold on a second, guys. Sorry about this. Where is the USB? There it is. I didn't even know it was low. I didn't even see it had a... I didn't even see it said it was getting low. Okay. My bad, guys. Alright, so. The dual shock died on me. Let's go ahead and use fair and flasher. I want to see how much damage it does to these guys. Does it kill them in one hit? Yes, it does. Okay. I was just wondering if it was actually strong enough to kill these guys in one hit. It seems like it is, but it still seems like I'd say like a fallback thing. Like don't use it unless you you're getting like bum rushed or something. Uh, we need to go actually. We need to go down. Let's 
We need to go back in here. I was wondering what you guys would think. After we finish Dark Souls 3, I know we're not even like... Well, at least it doesn't seem like we're halfway done because we've only killed one out of the five or the four Lords of Cinder. There's five, but he's our, one of them's already here. So we've only killed one. So I'm thinking that this series isn't even close to being done. But I was going to ask you guys if when it is done, would you guys be interested in a Demon Souls um, playthrough? Not, I don't think I'm going to do a sorcery playthrough for Demon Souls. But I was just wondering if you guys would be interested in um, actually going through that again. I'll probably go through all of them again, honestly. But uh, we'll probably start off with Demon Souls and then go Dark Souls, then Dark Souls 2, and then Bloodborne, and then Dark Souls 3. Try, try to do like a chronological order thing from when they came out. We'll see though. If you guys want to do that, definitely hit me up in the comment section. Now where the fuck did Patches go? Is he in here? Maybe he's up on top of the tower. Let's go see. Patches! Oh, Patches. I actually don't know where he is. I'm pretty sure he actually is on the tower somewhere, but I don't know where. All right, so he's clearly not up here. But uh, we need to buy the rest of the Katarina set from him um, before a certain quest. I actually don't know exactly what triggers it, but we need to buy it from him before we get to Ithriel because it'll make it where we won't be able to complete Sigurd's quest line if we don't get it to him. Where the fuck did he go? Alright, well, anyways, I wanted to go down here and show you guys something a few episodes ago. With the, the crows, anyways, so might as well jump down here and do it now. If we come over here to the, the crows and we drop off the Siegbrow, leave this. We should get something. Pump a rum, pump a rum, yeah, pump a rum. The armor of the sun. Okay, so we got the armor of the sun for that. If we drop off an ember, they'll give us something else. Oh, wait, no, it's not an ember. It's a homer bone. My bad. My bad. I meant a homer bone. So if we leave a, a homer bone, pickle pee, pickle pee. We got call over and the iron bracelets. And then if we drop off a fire, a black firebomb, they should give us a large tit titanite shard, maybe? Or a titanite chunk. Okay. And then... There's a few more things I know we can drop off. Maybe it's a prism stone. Pump a rum, pump a rum. Twinkling Titanite. And I'm trying to think of all the other things that we can drop off here. I actually don't know the rest by heart. Those are just the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, maybe a rusted coin? Let's see. No, not okay. Not a rusted coin. How about an undead hunter charm? No, okay, that's not it. There was something that you can give them to get a certain mask, but I can't remember what it is. Oh well, I'll find out again later. But, I think we need to go back down here. Hopefully, I wonder what we... Can we do anything with this? A seed of the giant is yet to fall. Okay, let's go down here. Is Patches here somewhere? He's gotta be, right? You think. You'd think he'd be here somewhere now because we unfold his plan. I know that we have to buy the rest of the Katarina set from him, so he's got to be around here somewhere. Let's talk to Grey, Grey Rat, though. We haven't talked to him in a while. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. You can keep us. No, he still has nothing to say. New. No. Damn. How about you? Anything new to say? Speak, I'd honorable. Orbeck of Vinheim. If left alone, fall. Hmm, I don't know. 
She keeps telling me to like kill Orbeck or like get rid of Orbeck, which makes me like think like, why? What has he done? Ah, they. I. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Do you that. don't have anything new. I don't think either. Where the hell is Patches? Let's talk to her real quick and see if she has anything new to say because uh. Oh, champion of her Earth, homies you here. Have, you know, in my heart, I no. oh, terrible. Same things. I... Damn. All right, I don't know where Patches went, but uh, hopefully we'll find him soon enough. But that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We killed the Abyss Watchers on the first try as a sorcerer. I think somebody actually asked me in the comment section. They're like, I don't know how you're going to beat the Abyss Watchers or something like that. Um, but we did it. Maybe not. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll see you all later. Peace out.